Hello everyone and welcome to Trick Track World. Today I want to discover with you a new model, the new Pico Eurofima, on the market for about a year in numerous variations, in this case in the elegant livery of the Czech Republic's railways. They are not mine, but belong to a friend who, as always, does not want to be mentioned, but lends me a good part of the models you can see in my videos. I would like to first of all to thank him. Lent them to me for the next video of the great trains on the Trick Track model layout playlist, together with another model, but it's a surprise, don't miss the next video. As you can see, they are very well made, the details of the underbody are excellent, the idea of the dampers which do not hinder the movement of the carriage, as they are part of the structure, is very beautiful. The carriage promises excellent behavior on the layout. The details, the realism of the undercarriage itself and the marking prints are also of high quality. Nice reproduction on one carriage of a drawing indicating a playing area for children, an excellent introduction by many railway administrations. And here they are on the layout, time to replace the hooks with short ones and we are ready to test them. Just a note. These carriages cost around 70 euros each, therefore 15% less than other brands. Considering the high quality, this alone deserves a well done, Pico Expert. And we are ready to go for a little stress test. Of the entire layout, the curved bridge you can see in the foreground is the most difficult part. Let's try to tackle them both in traction and push. It's a pleasure to see how smoothly they go. The carriages are also optimized for tighter spokes. I also tested them on a 42 cm radius, they do not cause any problems. Even in this uphill curve, test passed. An historical note. Originally, the Czech, or rather Czechoslovakian railways, did not have this kind of rolling stock. These carriages are known other than the former Austrian Eurofema ones. With the advent of more modern rolling stock in the OBB fleet, the Eurofema was handed over to the Czech Drachy, already renovated before the move. The one on the right is the 90s Rocco version of the original carriage. As I've always said, they are excellent models yet, also compared with the, however more detailed, recent productions. The Rocco version can run everywhere, also in the hardest curves. With the help of a light, we notice how the interiors are well defined in the Pico version. The seats are correctly in blue, like in the real ones. Honestly, also in the 90s Rocco version, the interiors were very good, with defined seats and addresses present. Here you can see the interior of a former Z2, a very similar carriage produced by Acme. In this case, the interior is of higher quality and the model is overall very well made. The Pico Expert version, for its part, was a circulation capacity on layout comparable to the Rocco version, therefore perfect. What do you think about these models? And do you like the light blue livery of the Czech Railways? Let me know in the comments. In the next video, we could admire these coaches in our elite compositions. Trick Chuck and I are waiting for you. See you on the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.